Hi, this is Pad Love with Pat's Two Cents. Looking pretty dark right now, isn't it? Can't figure out what the heck is going on because you can't see what's happening. It's a very dark period in your life. And it's not only dark in your life, it's dark in, inside. Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light and there was light you need God to speak light into your darkness but let me tell you something he works on schedule and there's an old phrase the Bible wears out that is called the fullness of time God works in means of purpose. And whatever he's working out in your life and working into your life, there's a certain schedule that is involved. He uses time as his tool to bring certain things to fruition and bring other things to not. So, when you feel like it is time for some light right now, I'm going to use this example I have used before. Remember this. When you look at your clock and you have seen the darkest period of the night between 11 and 12 midnight, when that clock hits one second past the midnight hour, it is a new day. It may not look like a new day because it is just as dark. Do you hear? It is just as dark at 12 o'clock a.m. as it was 11 o'clock p.m. the previous night. Yet it all feels the same. It all looks the same. When that clock hits one or two, it's a new day. It is morning time between 12 and 2. Yet, there is no sunlight. Why? Schedule. God works in the fullness of time. And you, no matter how long you stare at that sky, will not see that sun rise over the horizon or the light coming from it prior to the horizon until the fullness of God's timetable. So even though you may be in your new day, unfortunately, it's going to be dark just a little while longer. I hope you get what I'm saying. If you step outside at 10 o'clock at night, look and see how dark it is. And if you're still awake, step outside at 12 midnight. When you look on your calendar or on your computer, like right now, it says Tuesday, May 16th, 8.01, 8.02, just changed, p.m. Well, when that clock says to uh, Tuesday, May 16th, 8.59, I mean, excuse me, 11.59 p.m. It's definitely a dark night. That's one of the darkest parts of the night. You wait one more minute. It looks the same. It smells the same. It acts the same. But it is a new day because the computer 
clock will say Wednesday, May 17th, 12 o'clock a.m. But you and I have to wait until 5 something in the morning. We have to go through the darkness to get to the light, to get to the dawn. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Fullness of time. Your answer is coming. The solution is coming. God is working even in the dark. If your heart is still beating at 11.59 p.m. and it's still beating at 12 a.m. the next day and it continues to beat until the sun comes up. Just like God makes sure that your heart is still working in the dark and it still works when the sun comes up. If your heart stopped beating, you would be dead. You know it. So if God continues to keep your heart beating, there is a reason. There is a reason. Yes, it's dark. Yes, it hurts. Yes, it feels hopeless. But the sun comes up tomorrow. And when there is light, the dawning of the new day, there are new things happening. New levels of hope. And as hard as God is working to get that light, he was working just as hard when it was dark. Just because you could not see him did not mean it wasn't there. Now listen. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Where was the heaven? Where was the earth? He created it with his word. It began to manifest. It was already created before he started that first day. Because it was created here. The design, the mechanisms, everything of the way nature works was in here. Came out of his word. But things didn't start manifesting. It took the next day. It took the firmament, the waters. It took all of that, the sky, the stars, all of that. Okay? And the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place. And let the, there's the ocean. There's the sky. But check it out. Some more time goes by. Then there's a third day and a fourth day. There are trees. There's grass. There's fruit. Evening in the morning. Third day. All of this that's happening was God's creation. If God can create all of this out of nothingness, darkness, and void, how much more can he do with you? You're already here. And everything you need to work in your life is already in the working. How much easier do you think God is at creating the answer to your problems, to your dilemmas, Be encouraged. I don't know. It sounds too, it's like a pat answer. Oh, be encouraged. I don't mean it in, in a way that, that has no meaning. What I'm saying is hang on to your hope as hard as you can. When, when it seems like there's nothing left to hang on to, like they say, tie a knot and keep hanging. Because at one point, God is going to say, the battle is over. It is finished. There'll be no more war. It is finished. The end of the conquest. It is finished. And Jesus is Lord. God bless you.